pomegranate perfume, face powder in an orange, a makeup bag inside a watermelon, and fresh cream from dragon fruit, our makeup arranged a real fruit festival today. My friend is on the hunt. What is she looking for? Yummies? Hidden treasures? A recipe for endless youth? It turns out that she needs a hand cream. That's easy. The hand cream is hidden inside a dragon fruit. Fold corners of a hand cream tube and fasten them with a stapler. Cut a foam plastic ball in half and attach one half to the cream tube. Trace the cap on red felt and cut it out. Wrap the entire thing with foil to make it more voluminous. Cut two elongated pieces out of a pink foam rubber sheet. We also cut bright petals of different widths out of felt. Glue the petals to the main body. First of all, attach red and pink ones, and then add green and light green petals of smaller size. Hot glue a red felt circle to the cap. My friend can't believe that a regular cream can look like a bright fruit. Now this is a change of style. I squeeze some cream out of the dragon fruit. I didn't know that this exotic fruit had such nourishing juice. My friend has been dreaming about something. Colorful, handy, and beautiful face powder compact is her biggest dream. Ah, I wish good dreams always came true, but I know how to make this wonder with my own hands. I sneak the ideal powder compact under my friend's pillow while she's sleeping. Fru-Fru, you are on guard! Divide a round face powder compact into sections. Trace the lines with hot glue. Let the glue dry. Cover the lines with white acrylic paint. Paint the space between the white lines in orange. Cut a strip out of orange felt and hot glue it to the side of the face powder compact. Coat the sections with orange acrylic paint additionally and add a white strip along the edge. It's morning. It's high time for Sleeping Beauties to wake up. But my friend is more like the princess in the pea. Oops, I mean the princess in the orange. Something under the pillow wasn't letting her sleep the entire night. Let's check what's there. A face powder compact hides in the disguise of an orange. It's exactly the one I've been dreaming about. It's magic. My dream came true. The first thing I'll do after waking up is fix my skin tone. I'm living the dream. Redhead wants to do a bright and juicy makeup look, and a sweet watermelon style is exactly what she needs. Apply red eyeshadow to the entire upper lid. Make a light green transition, and blend light green eyeshadow on the brow bone. Define the brows with light green face paint. Apply red eyeshadow to the lower lash line. Put some black face paint on a thin brush and paint watermelon seeds on the upper lid. Add black eyeliner. The watermelon look is done! The girls arrange a summer picnic. It's a perfect time to debut my new makeup for them to see. They love it! I'm a real watermelon girl, and there is one more surprise hidden in the basket. A watermelon makeup bag. Blow a balloon. Tear paper into small pieces. Dip the paper into water and attach it to the balloon. Make a few layers. For the next couple of layers, we need to mix equal amounts of white glue and water. Dip paper into the glue solution and attach it to the balloon. You need to make at least seven or eight layers. The balloon should be thick. Let the air out of the balloon and take the balloon out when all the layers are completely dry. Mark a line on the paper balloon with electrical tape. Make a cut along the line. Put a hinge onto it and make holes with a pin. Add screws with a screwdriver. Fasten two hinges so that our makeup bag opens. Fasten a metallic lock on the opposite side of the same way. Roll paper into a thin strip and shape it into a swirl using a brush. Attach the stem into the hole 
and cover it with layers of paper. Color the watermelon with acrylic paints. First of all, we paint dark green stripes, then light green. Make the edges uneven so that it looks like a real watermelon. Paint the stem in a greenish brown. Trace the halves of the watermelon on foam rubber and red felt when the paint is dry. Leave a gap on the felt so that it is a bit wider than the circle and cut it. Hot glue it to the foam rubber. Attach felt loops. Insert the foam rubber into one half of the watermelon. Paint the other half in red. Cut a smaller circle out of foam plastic. Hot glue red felt to it and attach a small mirror and a brush loop. Put the mirror into the other half of the watermelon. Cut watermelon seeds out of smooth black felt and hot glue them to the surface. Fill the watermelon with makeup. Only the sweetest makeup products are hidden in our watermelon. This is a real beauty harvest. Makeup straight from a garden. And your lips shine and smell like fruit. I decided to pamper myself with a healthy avocado, but I forgot to bring a plate. And meanwhile, my friend has come up with a prank already. She sneaks me an avocado with a surprise inside. Mix half a glass of flour and half a glass of salt. Pour in water gradually and knead the dough. Sprinkle a board with flour and shape the dough into an avocado with a hole for a seed. Leave the avocado to dry completely for one to two days. Mix white, yellow, and green acrylic paints and color the inside of the avocado with it. Mix green and black for the peel. Hot glue a small container of powder into the hole instead of a seed and cover it with the second piece. My avocado looks suspicious. And there's no seed inside, only makeup. I see, my friend made it. Powder with avocado must have a nice effect on skin. We are ready to drink tea. And here's a fresh lemon. It even looks sour. Let's cut some slices for tea. But it seems that this lemon is not fresh at all. It's actually plastic. Now I get the picture. It's my friend's revenge prank. Take round eyeshadow and a piece of salt dough. Attach the dough to the cap of the eyeshadow with white glue. Cover the side with a strip of dough. Shape it into a half of a lemon. Shape the surface with a modeling tool so that it looks like lemon peel. Make a cut with a knife so that the eyeshadow opens. Wait for the dough to harden and paint it yellow. Attach a lemon image to the eyeshadow. It turns out that it's not a lemon, it's eyeshadow. You certainly can't add it to your cup of tea, but it's perfect for your makeup. The girls have a real beauty store on their sofa. Everyone is bragging about their purchases. But the blue-eyed girl has something better. It's not just makeup, it's a pomegranate. Dissolve white glue in water. Take a round perfume bottle. Tear wipes into small pieces. Dip them into the glue mixture and cover the perfume bottle. Make a few layers. Let it dry completely. Draw a pomegranate stem on a strip of cardboard. Cut it out, roll, and attach with glue. Put the top onto the perfume spray nozzle. Mix suitable shades of acrylic paints and paint the surface so that it looks like a pomegranate. Color the spray nozzle and let it dry completely. We also color the stem, put it into the bottle, and bend the end slightly. My friends can't figure out how my latest beauty product can be a fruit. This is actually perfume. It just looks like a real pomegranate. And it smells really good too. Fruit scent in a fruit bottle. Now we are not interested in regular brushes and eyeshadow anymore. Did you like our fruity ideas? Then write in the comments which fruit makeup you will make. And don't forget to give a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new fruit makeup on Troom Troom.